My dear brothers and sisters, it is important to keep in mind that in order to make good decisions, wisdom is necessary. Wisdom is the light that comes from God. As the reading said, by following one's own impulses and intuitions, a person is unable to discover what is good and fair. He cannot know the will of God if his reason is uncertain. It, it is difficult for us to understand the things of the earth. How can we, we discover the things of God? In today's Gospel, Jesus sees that a great crowd followed. Worried that the people had misunderstood his words, he turned to them and began to explain to them what it means to be a disciple. Jesus presented three very hard demands that end with the same refrain. He cannot be my disciple. The passage is addressed to all who seek to be Christians' disciples. The conditions that Jesus presents are not negotiable. The first one, if someone comes to me and loves me no more than his father and mother, his wife and children, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. When he presents the requirements of the Christian vocation, Jesus always uses very strong images. He does not want anyone to have illusions. First of all, love has no limits. Therefore, the more a person loves, the better person he is. God considers that the love directed toward to others as also directed at himself. The sacred condition, he who does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. This phrase is often interpreted as an invitation to patiently endure any setbacks or sufferings in life. Other times it is understood as an invitation to mortify by making sacrifices. Jesus does not call for resignation but for a commitment to testify. This is the cross that every disciple must wait for. Whoever heard the gospel cannot have the illusion of having already become a disciple. As words and initial enthusiasm are not enough, perseverance and strength are necessary to move forward. The final condition, Whoever does not give up his property cannot be my disciple. It is not about giving out some pennies for alms. It is necessary to give up everything. It is not a joke, my dear brothers and sisters, to make this requirement practicable. A very poor solution has been devised. That is, the renunciation of good would not be a precept for all, but an even more offered only to some heroes determined to put into. The requirement of total renunciation of property is not directed only to some, but to every person who comes to Jesus. The truth is that the decision of falling in Christ leads us to a complete new relationship even with the goods of this world. Brothers and sisters, today Christ tells us how we can respond to his call and to follow him. He presented the conditions and they are not easy. Let us not let this phrase, He cannot be my disciple, make us afraid. Rather, let us keep in mind and heart that as a children of God, we have the Holy Spirit and that He will always be our guide and counselor to be able and help us to follow Jesus, our Master, today and forever.